Hey, welcome to this video. A while ago I made a video on a small utility that you could use to fix a lot of the common issues with uh, Windows XP. Uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 ne never really had a utility you could use to do these common issues but now the Windows Club have actually made a handy little utility you can use to fix a lot of the common issues. Okay, Now we'll put this big link up in my description so you can download it from there. Um, but we'll have a little look at the application itself. As I said, this is only for Windows Vista and Windows uh, 7, so it won't um, work for Windows XP. Okay, but you have seen a version similar to this, which you can use for Windows XP. So let's have a little look at the actual application itself. Uh, I've already downloaded it, and I'm going to just fire it up. It's called Fix Win, as you can see. Just allow that and shut that off. Okay, so this is the actual. Um, application here and as you can see um, system check uh, file checker utility and you've got to create a restore um, point there as well which is very handy okay so if you wanted to you could just um, click yes on that and that will click uh, create a restore point and also you've got the system file checker utility there as I said okay uh, so that's really useful very handy. So let's have a little look at Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer, the recycle bin icon is missing from your desktop. We can fix that very quickly by clicking on this button here. And you've also you can see a lot of useful little quick fixes. Now, okay, fair enough. Um, you might be saying, oh, they're not really massive fixes, you know, you know, but they are very handy to have on a USB stick pen or something like that. We can quickly pull it out and take it. Uh, click on these and fix them very quickly rather than uh, rooting around and trying to in, in the registry and trying to find a fix for it. So as you can see these are the common little fixes here. Let's move down to internet and uh, connectivity and as you can see Internet Explorer icon missing from the desktop creates an Internet uh, Explorer icon for your desktop fix that. Um, as you can see a lot of other little useful things uh, fix runtime error dialog are appearing in Internet Explorer while, while surfing that fixes that little error. As you can see, reset TCP IP default state. Very handy uh, to have fix that there. As you can see, that fix blurry text. Um, a lot of these, as, you, as I said, are very common uh, problems that you face every day. So it's going to be very useful to have about. Okay, let's move on to the Windows Media part. And as you can see here, there's a lot of useful fixes and quick fixes here. As you can see, and as I said, this works with Windows 7 as well which hasn't been out very long so it's good to get something like this out on the market already I think these are the very first to actually bring out an application that only works with Windows 7 and Windows Vista okay because I haven't seen one so you've got system tools here enable task manager very useful very handy enable uh, command prompt very handy as well uh, enable registry editor now these what I'm talking about here are very handy if you've had malware or spyware and it's disabled these because this is the common thing they do they disable these to stop you trying to kill it and, and kill the actual virus or malware okay so this will actually help you get back up and running very quickly okay without going into the registry too much because it's already done for you so as you can see uh, reset system uh, restore to defaults Okay, device manager not working, another thing that, that these sort of things may be a common error there. Uh, as you can see, repair Windows Defender, a lot of useful fixes, as I said. Uh, additional fixes, and you can uh, enable Hibernate. Okay, as you can see, restore uh, the Windows sidebar gadgets, sidebar gadgets missing from uh, gadget panel, another common thing there, as you can see. Uh, loads of little useful things, but anyway. So I hope if you these ones that are greyed out here, the reason why they're greyed out is because we're in a Vista operating system. If you are in a work, working Windows 7 operating system, then these will light up. So obviously the, you can't click on something that's only good enough for uh, Windows 7. I mean, if it was Windows 7 now, these would be able to click on these. So it's to stop you from making mistakes, I suppose. So it's very uh, useful. Okay, so my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. A big thank you to Ramesh Kumar from the Windows Club who's made this program. I think it's an awesome little program and uh, I think he's made some uh, other useful programs as well that I've uh, used myself in the past. So a big thank you to them and uh, thanks for everyone who supports me on my videos. Uh, please keep subscribing and keep posting your comments and uh, your questions in the comments or personal messages or go over to my forum and register there. 
Okay, so thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now.